All right, Black Friday at the bins. How was it, y'all? Let's find out. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with a Ben's haul. Um, I went on Black Friday at the Virginia Beach Ben's. Cool thing about that, I usually find at least one thing designer. I do love going to the Virginia Beach Ben's because I can find things there that I can't find in my area of Richmond, Virginia. So let's dig in, let's dig in. Um, first item I'm showing you is for me. So, you see it's a bag, um, it's a purse. This is the brand that I collect. Um, most people in the United States are gonna call this Agner. It is Etienne Agne. Um, I don't even think that it's probably not even made anymore. Lots of pen marks inside, you know, it's not super clean inside, but that does not bother me because this is going into my collection this may be a bag that i carry in the spring or summer due to its light color but i love the signature a's so there we go that's for me bags at the bins in the virginia beach up to the richmond area which there should be three bins locations virginia beach hampton midlothian um bags there are three dollars and fifty cents a piece another bag. I'm excited about this. I did not check comps at 350. I know that I will triple my money on this. Um, it's a book bag with a rose gold metal Adidas on there. Um, and some of you may know it as Adidas. I had a German foreign exchange student, um, oh gosh, what did the name Johanna. Okay. The name for like left my brain for a minute. Johanna, um, who, um, explained to me that it is Adidas is how they say it in Germany. So Adidas. Um, but anyway, great book bag. It is in beautiful condition. Nothing wrong with corners, edges, no rips, tears, so yeah, I'll take this all the time. I love selling book bags. I really do. All right. And kids still use them. Students do because especially, well, I definitely look for ones with a, a laptop um, pocket inside. And that one does that has a padded laptop pocket inside. Um, okay, next. This is probably for me too. I was like, why did I buy this? But I think it's for me. It's just a very boho belt and I don't think that it's real leather or anything. It has all these like tags on it, which you would normally see on maybe a Walmart belt or a Target belt. So I don't, I don't believe it's genuine leather. Um, but I did know that the size, yeah, it, it only sold for $10 originally but it does fit me. So I may, I'm gonna keep this and hopefully use it with something cute that I've got. Okay. It is a cross stitch book. There's a lot of these listed. So I'm probably gonna send this to my son, but I do love picking up um, cross-stitch things, especially vintage. I prefer the kits over the books, but um, yeah, I'll send this to my son. He'll have fun with this. He loves to cross-stitch. Okay. Um, I'm looking to see, what are we getting into here? Okay. Look at him. <laughs> He's kind of, his neck is a little bit sad, but we've got a little giraffe here. Isn't he cute? His neck is kind of sad. Well, I'll have to look to see what he's supposed to look like. But it is a uh, Gandhi by Russ. Oh, Gandhi, I might might be his name. Gandhi might be his name. And it is by Russ. 
I love just picking up stuffed animals. So I'll see, I, his neck is a little bit floppy, but maybe it's supposed to be. Okay, let's get into shoes, shoes at the bins. Oh, he was probably about, um, that, mm, brain not working. The belt, 50 cents. Um, the stuffed animal goes in with household goods, I believe. And that should have been 79 cents a pound. He might weigh eight ounces. So I'm thinking he was about 50 cents. What do you want? Okay, come here. Come here. Hey, big jump. All right, y'all, this is Cleo. Cleo loves that I'm home. It's a Friday and she loves the fact that I'm home. So she wants to be on mama. <laughs> That was Cleo. Whew. All right, shoes. Shoes at the bins are $3.50 a pair. They do not do them by the pound. Um, I just sold a pair of vintage Cole Hans. I was surprised. These are Regano by Cole Hahn. I, they're made in Italy. They're an 11, size 11. They look good on the bottoms. Yeah, there's wear, but I mean, not like insane wear, but they're just a basic pair of men's loafers. They need some stuffing. They need to be shaped, which is fine. I'll, um, I keep all kinds of material for stuffing around here. I, I've never seen the Bragano by Cole Hahn. So that should be interesting. Um, and I'll do some research and see what I can find out. Love finding this brand. I've only sold it once, but anyway, um, this is a pair of sandals. No, it's not sandal season, but buying sandals. So we got, so I gotta do it like this so that you guys get the full effect of what these sandals look like. They're cute. Let's go this way with them. <laughs> That's not complicated or anything. Not too much wear on the bottom. They are a size 40, which is, what is that, around a nine-ish? Um, and they are Ms. Moos. Ms. Moos. Leather. Um, and it says the Verona Collection. Don't know anything about the Verona Collection. But Ms. Moo's usually do decently. So I'm thinking 25 to 30, I'll pop up some comps or something. Okay. I just kind of threw things in here. Let's go with these. My favorite brand to wear. Again, not sandal season. But these are Earth Origins. I love wearing Earth Origins. I'm a, I'm a big fan. And um, they are just a pair of sandals, just some basic sandals. And they are a size eight. Size eight, Earth Origins are generally made from leather. This is called the Bosque Benson. That's the name of the sandal. Um. Hmm. It's got a word. It's got alpaca chatania in it, and I'm not sure why. Mm, but it's got this cool braided detail on the top. So a leather braided detail. Um, so yeah, I I like these. Hang on, let's see what it says. Made in China. Alright, earthshoes.com. So Earth Origins. I love them. Let's grab these. Let me get the rubber band off. I hate the rubber bands on the shoes. It messes up the leather. I understand why to put them on there, especially in the bins, because you could spend a long time with one shoe in your cart looking for another one. Here's a cool pair of sandals. And they've got that cute block heel. Zip up the side, and they are, they are Clark's. Very little wear on the bottom. Very little wear. So, um, let's see. 
did I get? I want, I want to say that a lot of the ladies' shoes are all the same size. Um, they are an eight also. So, very good condition. Beautiful condition on these Clark's sandals. So, I love selling Clark's. Didn't go crazy in the shoe aisle today or this day. All right, we got a pair of heeled clogs or mules. <laughs> Grab that one, duck it out of frame. I'm back. Okay. Um, with this cool again, another woven or braided detail on the front. They look good. This is like, what is that's that's something weird stuck to it. I'll dig that off later. But anyway, they are by the brand Soft, which I do like selling. Um, and they are leather and another size eight. Another size eight shoe. So we got one with the size eights, which is a decent size. That's not a terrible size. And then almost never ever find cowboy boots these these are definitely a men's these are definitely a men's um boot and they are let me see um I, I knew I knew what brand and now I don't know what brand um I had looked them up they're called code west code west men's cowboy boots and um they are a size 10 they're a size 10 cowboy boot there's like a style number in there i'll look it up you know they're not the highest end cowboy boot from the comps that i saw but i'm confident you know and i'll pop up some kind of comps i can't remember what i found did i find like 40 to 50 dollars a pair um and like i said they're in good shape you'll see a little bit of heel wear but not you know it's not extreme so um i saw a lot listed for women's not a lot listed for men's and but these are definitely this 10 that's a men's 10 it's a big 10 um last pair of shoes first time ever finding this brand we got a pair of loafers. They need to be stuffed and, and shaped. Tasseled loafers. Look at that. And they are Ferragamo. Ferragamo at the bins. Okay. So, I will, I'll stuff them. And I will get them polished up. And they are going to look absolutely divine. Um, here's the bottoms. And let's see if a Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo made in Italy. They are size 11D. Um, so yes, Ferragamos at the bins. All right. <clears throat> and I'll pop up some kind of comp on those. So yes, I usually find some sort of designer brand at the bins. And on this day, it's Ferragamos. Um, I don't think I found any designer clothing don't think I did um, memory um, and if you're if you're wondering I did find one brand of clothing that I have never found in athletic wear um, and I'll save that one for a, in a little while um, I the way I work is I like to show my haul and then list the haul uh, some people do it the other way around. They list it first and then show it. I want to show and list. It's, um, so that's how, that's how I roll. Anyway, so let's look and see what clothing I got. My clothing, clothing at the bins is $1.49 a pound. Unless you get 20 pounds or more, then it's $1.29 a pound. I did not get 20 pounds of clothes. I have so much inventory. I don't need 20 pounds of clothes, but it's okay. All right. So this line is now defunct. This is Loft Plus, but let me tell you, it is popular. Um, as, as a Loft Plus wearer, I love finding it. 
and I love wearing it, but it's a little long sleeve top with a peplum and it's got elastic on the sleeves so that they look a little bit balloony, but not a lot. Um, cute little floral surplus. So when you've got one layer that goes over another, that's called a surplice top. You, you know, maybe you want to wear something under it. Maybe you want to pin it. Maybe you don't. So it gives you lots of options. And like I said, a peplum hem. I do like this. So, and I, I like finding Loft Plus because you can't get it anymore. Okay. I own a pair of these in navy blue and I flippin' love them. Um, I just can't even. <laughs> and this is a Chico's 2.5 R. Two and a half should be around like a 12, I think. Maybe a 10 or 12. But they are just some simple career pants. Pull on. Um, no pockets. No nothing. You just pull them on and wear them. And they're in this awesome rust color. What a great color for fall. Um, but yeah, like I like those. And like I said, I own a pair in navy blue and they are a go-to for me for work. I will say that. All right, looks like I got a pair of jeans. Okay, I'm trying these. I, I think I'm almost positive I looked up comps in the bins and I was mildly impressed by the comps. And they're Sean John. I think it was the fit that I was like, yeah, let me grab those. They're, it's called the um, Athletic Tapered Stretch. So they are, let me see. I thought I knew the size. Um, a 34.30. They're a 34.30. So a good regular size. You've got some fading and some, some whiskering. They look good on the back. This tag feels like, oh my gosh, like butter. Okay, Sean John for putting the good leather tag on. So yeah, they're just, you know, a basic pair of men's jeans. Uh, they're probably, I don't even know if Sean John jeans are made anymore. That was the brand by the singer, Sean Puffy Combs, P. Diddy. You know, he's he's had a couple monikers names over the time. Um, but anyway, I actually have sold some vintage stuff by him that has done very, very well. So, um, yeah, and I, I want to say I was impressed by the comps on that. I'll pop something up. Okay. Ava and Viv 3X. And this is just, this is not going to sell for a lot of money but it will sell. I have luck with uh, Avon Viv. It just doesn't sell really high. Um, mock turtleneck, kind of a terracotta color. So, and in all honesty, it would be, it's gonna, it would be too big for me, but man, that would be a good winter lounge around the house piece. Okay, let's take a look at this. Cleo's back down here, wanting some attention. All right, we got a torrid size one, so that's like a 1X, around a 14. Um, and it's just a little floral top with a peplum bottom. Very similar to the loft top, except for the fact that it doesn't have a surplus front. So, love picking up Torrid. When I can find it at the bins, I don't pay full uh, thrift store price for it. I'm not gonna pay $5 for something like that because it's only gonna sell for around 18. So that's not a good return for me. But when I pay $1.50 for it, yeah, I'll pick it up. All right. Um, What have I got? What have I got? Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. So now we got a little sleeveless floral top with like a little swing ruffle peplum hem. And it's also toward, it's a 2, a 2X, two so about an 18. Very cute baby doll style top. Um, there's little buttons right here. I don't, yeah, you might be able to see those. So yeah, very cute. All right, we'll grab these. Another pair of jeans. Jeans. Um, 
Panana Republic, size 32. Um, and they are boot cut, a boot cut. And boot cut is in right now. Good basic pair. And, um, yeah. 32 is about a size of 14 or I think a 14. Could be a 16. But, so, boot cut is in style right now. And these did not have any distressing. I know for me, personally, we are allowed to wear jeans teaching. We're allowed to wear jeans on Friday. But, they can't be distressed. They can't have holes in them. So when I see jeans like this, I think there's probably people out there in the same boat that maybe there's a casual Friday, they can wear jeans or something, but they can't, you know, have all the holes in them. So this would be a great pair in that instance. All right, something striped. <laughs> it's a dress, it's a dress. All right, where are we at? And it still has the tags on it. So Hope and Henry, new with the tags, striped dress, nautical, coastal, marine. You know, those are all things I would throw in the title. It has an attached belt. So it originally sold for $39.95 um, organic textile. So let's see, it must be made from, oh, quality goods for the greater good. I have purchased from the greater good before. So anyway, I thought this was great. It is made from 95% organic cotton, 5% spandex. Um, didn't, didn't run comps. I felt very confident in the fact that at a dollar fifty, I'll be able to be okay, you know, with selling this. I think it's a cute enough style that it should do just fine. Okay. And we got, okay. I was very focused on plus size on this trip. So we've got this cute little cottage prairie type dress. Let me scoot back just a hair. And maybe you guys can get the full effect. This would be a mini dress on most people. On me, it's probably a midi because <laughs> I'm short. But it is Old Navy, but it's a 3X. And like I said, the style. Look at these giant sleeves, you know, like balloony type puffy sleeves. Um, a cute print, a little chambray action happening here. Like a baby doll cottage core dress. So since that hit so many keywords for me, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. I was looking for a materials tag. So why is she digging? And it has pockets. Okay, yay pockets. Um, you wear it so well. Where is your fabric tag? I'm not seeing it. Okay. Well, we're going to call that non-existent, but very cute, has pockets, ready to go, adorbs. Hold on. Okay. Just, um, spoiler alert, it's not the first time you're going to see Old Navy in this haul. All right. I do like this brand. Um, all right. This is Lily, Lily, and it is a little summery dress with these cute circles on it. I still, I think, I think this color is black. Very summery, um, like a knit. It's it's stretchy, and like I said, um, a knit. What size was it? It is. Did not say on there. Made in USA. <laughs> It is. I don't know the size. Um, let me see. Mm. Oh, it's a medium. It is a medium. And yeah, I was Lily a Stitch Fix brand. I think it is. And I think it sold at Nordstrom. So. 
cute summer dress. I feel like that's one thing that I always, I hate looking at dresses in, and um, the Goodwill by me because they put them way up high and I'm like this, and I just get tired looking through them. Um, so yeah, sometimes I just skip over the dresses I shouldn't. All right, I told you it wasn't the first time you're gonna see Old Navy. Here's another Old Navy 3X. You've got a smocked um, top here. It's got all the stretch and smocked top dress. Another very cottage core tiered maxi dress in this terracotta color with um, a floral design all over it. Sleeveless, little ruffle cap. So you hear me just talking out loud like, hey, this is everything that this dress has going for it. Those are things that I would put in to be able to describe it. Okay, let's keep digging. Um, I thought this was a good find because it is new with tags, but I'm gonna have a hard time showing it to you guys. <laughs> it is Lulu's. So it's a Lulu's dress, size small, long sleeve. So we see all of that going on and it has a cutout back. So I guess kind of like this. <laughs> I'm gonna do a horrible job of showing it, but the whole back is cut out. Um, did I say it was a size small? I'm gonna struggle with, <laughs> with showing this um, to like, to take pictures, but I'll do my best. I might end up having to buy some kind, I don't want to buy another mannequin because my my plus size dress form is like, ah, you know, takes up a lot of space. So I feel like um, adding a mannequin to my small space would not be a good idea. Okay. I love this brand in jeans. Democracy Medium. I don't normally pick up their tops, but I really liked this one. I liked the um, pattern with all the tulips on it. To me, those look like tulips. And the greens and yellows, I thought it would be beautiful for spring. And it's got these little tassels at the bottom. Cute trumpet hem, um, or trumpet sleeve almost, like a sleeve with a ruffle on the end. So yeah, grab that. And we got two more things. Never have I ever found a piece like this. So it's a men's, like, casual button-down with this crazy design that makes me think of the toy Beyblades. But anyway, it's a Nike. And it's made out of, like, this performance fabric. It's a Nike Extra Large. I have never seen anything like this in, like, greens. It's like a dark green and a lime green. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. I've never seen a Nike piece like that. The only reason I know about this is I think because of Kay over at Passports and Pizza Pies. And when I saw it, I stopped at that bin. I said, let me dig through this bin and find more. See if there's more in here of this brand. It's a pair of running shorts. They are animal print. Pockets on the front. Pockets on the back, one of which zips shut. And they are Buff Bunny. Um, Kay, I know Kay loves finding Buff Bunny. I'm pretty sure. Okay, jump in here and tell me I'm wrong. Um, I'm digging in the pocket because I don't think I ever did. The zipper works. So, I was very happy to find this because I've never found this athletic brand before. And if I'm not mistaken, and what I remember of watching her videos is that this brand can do well. So I am happy about finding Buff Bunny. And that was it, you guys. I'm in, I'll put a number up. I'm trying to remember how much I spent, $57. So I think the clothing, um, I'll price the shoes. I'll put my cost of goods at $350 each, the clothing. I think I figured up to be a dollar sixty-seven per. If you like this video, if you learned something from this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? 
Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I'm still climbing to that magic 1000 subscribers mark. I'm not there yet, but I have faith that I will get there. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.